we're going to move now um, to an actual in-depth demo of some of the new features in Final Cut 7. And to help me do that, I've invited a guest, a very good friend of mine. Uh, she's a co-founder of Creative Dave, which actually does, which actually handles Final Cut 7 training. She's an Avid certified trainer. She's an Apple certified trainer. Um, please welcome Nicole Martinez. Yay. Welcome, Nicole. Nice to Thank meet you. Thank you for having me. Glad you could make it. So, Nicole, we asked this of uh, all our guests. Who are you and what are you doing on my show? Fair question. Um, my name is Nicole Martinez. He, he said a lot about me already. I'm a certified trainer and all that stuff. It's true. I'm also an editor. I edit for the CBS Evening News. That's one with Katie Kirk. And I'm also an artist. Um, and in my copious spare time, I, I come on shows like this and talk all about right. Final Cut. Right. <laughs> so um, in, addition to, in addition to your presentation today, I understand you've also brought some, some giveaways for our, for our in-house and for our online viewers. We have. We, we do offer training, custom training, certified training, all kinds of training. Um, and at the end of the show, we're going to give a very deep discount, some class giveaways. So I suggest you stay tuned, stay present to win. So at the end of the show, I'm going to remind our guests what giveaways are available. If you're watching us in the chat room, make sure on the, uh, the right-hand side, enter a username, jump in the chat room. At the end of the show, we're going to ask a question. A couple of the winners of the questions are going to win some stuff. We're also going to give some gifts away to our uh, in-house viewers. And now I give you Nicole's presentation. Thank you. So as you mentioned, I'm going to talk about a couple of the new Final Cut Pro features. Um, there's a lot of good stuff jam-packed in the show today, so I'm going to squeeze in as much information as I can in a short period of time. Before do I get to those new features, though, Jesse actually asked me a question that I'm happy to answer. He asked about media management in Final Cut Pro. And first off, the media management in Final Cut Pro is, for lack of a better word, very free, <laughs> um, non-existent. Right? It's up to you to do all your media management. So he has a specific question about how to get all of the stuff that you have in a project all in one place so you could take it put somewhere else. Before I talk about that, I want to talk about the term scratch disk. So a scratch disk is the place in Final Cut Pro where your media is captured. You plug in a camera, a deck, anything like that, you start capturing media. Clips are created in your Final Cut Pro project, and the media QuickTime Media is created in another location elsewhere in your scratch disk folder. Okay, And when you start capturing, the important thing to understand is that Final Cut will automatically create a folder with the name of your project and start capturing your media into that folder. So in your Capture Scratch folder, there are folders with the names of all the projects you've created. Now, if you look in that folder and you see a whole bunch of folders that say untitled, <laughs> that's because you started capturing before you saved your project and gave it a name. So Final Cut created an untitled folder and started capturing into there. So some, one really big thing to be aware of, your Capture Scratch folder and where it's located. I'm going to answer Jesse's question specifically. OK, so I've got um, a project open here. And this project is from the Final Cut Pro 7 intro to editing book. Okay, Final Cut seems to be thinking about something here, a little beach ball. Okay, so let's first talk about that capture scratch. Two ways to set your capture scratch. One way is through your system settings, okay? And this looks a little scary, but it's okay. Just read the words, they're in English. You got a video capture, audio capture, video render, audio render. These are folders Final Cut is going to create to save all this info into. So to set the location of your Capture Scratch folder, meaning the place where your media is going to be captured, you click this button called Set. Okay? I want to first show you the default location for your Capture Scratch folder. I'll just open up this hard drive here. And by default, Final Cut will create in your Documents folder a Final Cut Pro Documents folder. And in there, you'll have a capture scratch, your audio render files, render files, video render, thumbnail cache, waveform cache, auto save vault. All those folders will automatically be created in this Final Cut Pro Documents folder, which automatically shows up in your Documents folder, which is on your internal drive. Typically, you don't want to keep all your media on your internal drive. The internal drive is really busy running the OS. So we have our media on fast external drives. Firewire eats that even better. OK, so let's see, how do we set that up. I'll tab back to Final Cut here. 
like I said, you can set this in your system settings. You can also set your capture scratch right from the login capture window. So I'll open up my system settings and to set my video capture, I'll go ahead and navigate to my external drive here. And I have a folder here called Dave. Who is that Dave? And here, I'll just go ahead and create a new folder. And I'll just call it Jesse's Show. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'll click Choose. Okay. And I'm going to click OK. And let's see what just happened. Let's go back out to this drive. And Creative Dave. Dave. Here's a folder called Jesse's Show. And in there, now we have Capture Scratch, Audio Render, and Render Files. There were three other folders in there, though, right? Waveform caches and thumbnail caches. Let me show you where those were. They were in that very same window. We just didn't see them. Under System Settings, here they are. Waveform cache, set. Thumbnail cache, set. Auto Save, Vault, set. So I'll set those all to the same place. Right in there, Jesse Show. Thumbnail cache. Jesse Show. And the autosave vault. The autosave vault is kind of important. This is where all your project backups are created. Every half hour by default. I'll click OK here. And let me open up that hard drive. Final Cut doesn't want to hide for me. And Safari doesn't want to hide for me. Stand by. Let me just move this window. I'll do it manually, guys. So now, in here, inside of Dave, inside of Jesse's show, my folders haven't showed up. <laughs> this is the real world, folks, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we have bumps along the way. But that's the idea, without spending too much time on that. All that stuff is in your system settings. So set it, you can create a folder, okay? If, if that's the way you want to do it, if you want to have everything, capture, scratch, autosave, everything for a project, create a folder for that project and set the locations for all these items in that project. And remember, in your capture scratch, a folder will be created with your project name and your media will be captured in there, okay? We'll give you a couple of minutes for questions about that um, at the end of my demo.